Well, it's uh, welcome to my channel. Tommy V uh, on a foggy morning. We've got a front coming through. Probably won't be any good the next couple of days. North, strong north wind. I was able to get the last shrimp at Bridgeside and they're nice. So uh, hopefully they can get some more for the weekend. It's supposed to calm down a little bit. So maybe the weekend. But we're going to see what happens today. I'm going to try. I hadn't caught a trout at the Rock Jetties since December. So I don't know if it's the work they did over there. Uh, fixing that repair work on that beach. but Or it's just coincidence, but it's really weird. We're going to see with these big old live shrimp I got today, freelining. If they don't eat that, something ain't right. So stay tuned. See what happens. Water's pretty dirty here and uh, still got these rollers. I, I, these ground swells, but tide's coming in strong. I'm gonna see if I, if they want that free line shrimp. Stay tuned. Uh, if we don't get them here, we might have to go to the bar. I'm here to coming out of pass, coming out of pass rocks, and the water's dirty, but it's it's not that dirty. I've caught fish in this before. I haven't caught a fish here since December, so I don't know if it's the work they did, but I'm really discouraged about it. I got the perfect, beautiful shrimp from Bridgeside. And uh, I'm going to head to the barges because I know the water's good over there. And that, that, I'm going to find some fish. And maybe uh, Bell Pass if I got to. I got too good a bait not to catch some big ones. We're on the big fish hunt today. We're looking for some four, five, and six-pound fish. If they're out here, I got the right bait. I got some nice shrimp. So uh, don't get them that big often. But they free-lining shrimp. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm on the hunt for the big ones. I can catch the regular trout in the back today so calm and nice north wind coming so uh bad north wind so maybe by saturday or sunday we got got perfect conditions i came to the barges because i found some prettier water around grand isle that pass was nasty and just so we're gonna try west going west uh but i don't advise anybody traveling in the fog like that i followed my my uh track here real tight and it was real careful, but I don't, if you don't know what you're doing, don't drive in the fog. It's too, too foggy. You wait till it rises. Man, another, but redfish, redfish, redfish. The trout just nowhere to be found. But uh, I'm at Bell Pass and the reds are every cast. This is like my fifth one. And actually I uh, threw back like, some eating size ones. So, uh, Bell Pass is where it's at. Redfish, redfish, redfish. One after the other. Water's not as clean as the other day, but uh, that's a good eating size right there, about 25 inches. We'll go ahead and release them though. I got I got some meat already, enough to eat, so uh, from a couple days back. But Bell Pass is where it's at. I'm on the uh, same place I was, you can't really tell right here, but I'm on the uh, east side. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the west side of the rocks. On the outside. I won't believe it. I got a, about a seven pound trout on. I don't have a nail. So I can't try to see it. Up here and get a picture without anybody, without any help, right here by myself. Try not to lose my my phone here. It was 25 inches, 25 inches, and fat, fat with eggs, so probably six or seven pounds. That wasn't the biggest one I ever caught, but hey, that's a hell of a way to finish up, huh? Whoo, man, that was awesome. God, that's a blessing right there.